everybody, this is Praxis, and today is day two of putting the solar hot water panels up on the roof. You may be wondering, well, where was day one? I didn't record during day one. It was kind of hectic. Uh, we've been doing PPE gear and social distancing, trying to keep some uh, space from each other, just, you know, be respectful of them, them, them being respectful of us. Uh, and, um, you know, while I was working outside yesterday, it just it wasn't conducive to, uh, to shooting. But uh, things are going pretty well uh, in terms of the structure. It seems like it was built you know, so that it was okay for them to put uh, everything up there. The dimensions of the structure were a little bit on the tight side, but just just big enough for them to, you know, get what they needed to go up there. And uh, in terms of what I've been doing is I've been working mostly outside, just again trying to keep that uh, that buffer zone between us so everybody feels comfortable. And I've been doing things uh, in preparation for doing the siding. Uh, I got the word uh, two days ago that the siding could be delivered today. Uh, and I told them, you know, any time in the last month would have been fine. Any time for the next month would be fine. But just, you know, the, these couple of days, you know, these guys are in here. They got the trailer and everything. And that's where I want the siding to get dropped. So I said, well, you know, can we wait later in the week? Uh, and hopefully that's going to be fine. They'll be able to get it over here. But in preparation for that, uh, I've started putting up the scaffolding. You can see it just to your left over here. Building that, uh, getting that all ready. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is start on the back side of the house, uh, just because it's really easy. Uh, you know, I've, I've done ton of, uh, tons of siding in the past, but you know, whenever it's been a couple of years, you know, maybe you're a little rusty. So I'll start on the easy stuff, get the knack down, and then I'll head over to the front of the house, and then I guess I'll end with the sides. I'm kind of wondering about uh, how to finish up the sides uh, in terms of there's going to be a greenhouse here. You guys remember I put that big nailer board where the greenhouse roof is going to slope down over here. I'm wondering wondering if before I work on everything above that greenhouse roof line, I wonder if I should build the scaffold for the uh, for the greenhouse, you know, all, all the, the trusses and the, the posts and everything. I don't really need that bef uh, to be done before I can move in, but if I do build that, I could put decking right on top of the roof and I could work from there and it'd be a heck of a lot easier working up at those peaks if I was able to be working from the top of the greenhouse roof. So I may do that. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go on that. I, really, the goal is to get in before the winter. We still have six months. So uh, I guess I'll do everything else that I can prior to that, and then I'll make a determination whether or not there's time and whether it makes sense to build the entire uh, greenhouse skeletons before I, I finish up the top there. It would make it a lot easier to have, uh, have that decking there. We'll see. That's it. Thanks for watching.